Right. We've got some of them filled in. Let's see if we can get some of the other ones filled in. And I'm going to pick some people, if you don't mind. So, um, Hannah, have you got any of these radians that you could tell me what they are in degrees, please? Uh, pi over 6 is 30 degrees. Pi over 6 is 30 degrees. Yeah, and I guess it's, I think of this as like it's a sixth of 180, which is obviously 180 divided by 6. It's pretty quick that we come to 30. So if you know what pi over 6, are there any other ones that we can very quickly label then? Yeah, pi over 3 is going to be 60 degrees because it's double that. And also, a third of 180 is 60. Any other ones that are related to pi over 6, directly related to pi over 6 here? 2 pi, I want something that's like really directly. 5 pi over 6. So 5 pi over 6 is 150. How do you see that as 150, Hannah? Do you see it as related to this, or do you see it as coming all the way around? Exactly. So you're seeing it as five, five times that one. Yeah, some people might see it as, well, pi is 6 pi over 6. So if it's 5 pi over 6, you're just going back 30 degrees as well. There's loads of different ways you can see it. Mottisim, any other ones that are related to that pi over 6? Yeah, 7 pi over 6. Yep, which is? 210, 210 degrees. And another one, please? 360 degrees. The three, 360 degrees over here. But another one that's related to pi over 6. Oh, right. 11 pi over 6, which would be 330. OK, so it's just less than that 2 pi. Um, who have I not spoken to yet? Um, Zahiru. Any other ones you can now tell me about? Uh, 5 pi over 4. 5 pi over 4? 225. 225. Yeah, so you did that presumably 180 plus 45. Yes, yeah, so it's 5 quarters of 180 to be able to get there. Could you do another one for me, please? 240, so that's like your pi plus an extra third of a pi, and third of a pi is 60, so it's 180 plus 60. Let's just quickly finish up these ones. The only one we haven't done here is 2 pi over 3, which is 120. Okay, let's just finish with these other bits. So 5 pi over 3, and 7 pi over 4, 315. And within here, we've got 0 degrees and 360 degrees. So I don't want you to necessarily memorize these. The thing that you do need to memorize is that 180 degrees is pi. Everything else then kind of flows from that. Some of the memory will happen over time. You will be like pi over 4. Oh, that's the same as 45. But when you get really good at maths, you see pi over 4 and you just think pi over 4. You don't even think of 45, OK? When you will see pi over 2, you won't even think 90 you will start thinking in radians. And that's where I want you to get to. I don't want you to be constantly going back and forth between radians and degrees. What I want you to be able to do is to start thinking in radians. And that's not easy, but you need to try. Okay, You need to try to make that happen. So we'll play um, a, a quick bit of a, a game here to see if we can do some estimates of stuff. Normally, I have you coming up to the board and sharing the pen, but maybe we shouldn't do that in, in these days. But you can tell me roughly on the circle where you think this would be. So we'll do some easy ones to begin with. Um, Haroon, very quickly, where's 3 pi over 2? Um, 3 pi over 2 is... Well, I've got a question again. Yeah. And the uh, second one? No. Three, four, three, four, three, okay, three, I'll write it down. <laughs> 3 pi over 2. By the way, I won't pick on any... I'm, I know Haroon from Further Maths, so I'm picking on him. I won't put anyone under the pressure that much. Can you handle that? Yeah? yeah, yeah. yeah? Where's it go? Uh, it goes straight down here, okay? So here's my 3 pi over 2, or 3 over 2 pi, like this, okay? And the way you can think about that is it's one and a half of these half turns, okay? So that's the pi and then the pi over 2, okay? Um, Chaz, where do you think... Where's pi over 4? Remember, this is pi, so where would a quarter of that be? Exactly. So this is going to be pi over 4. I See, I went from a hard one to an easy one. Um, Sam, where do you think 3 radians is? Um, in like the three end of the yeah, so remember that although we've been talking about them as multiples of pi, you still can have numbers there, because pi is 3.14. So 3 radians is actually just before pi, OK? Where do we think, then, uh, 4 radians would be, roughly? Where would 4 radians be? Hannah? The bottom left. It's going to be somewhere 
down here. That's where four radians will be. Because remember, every time I'm saying pi, I'm actually meaning 3.14159, but I'm just using the pi symbol instead, OK? So there are numbers that are in here. When I'm saying pi over 4, could somebody just calculate what is pi over 4 on their calculator? Zero point seven eight five. So this is zero point seven eight five radians. Obviously, we prefer pi over four than zero point seven eight five because this is exact and this is not exact. So when I'm talking about radians, even though pi is popping up everywhere, every time it is indeed a number. Okay, it is actually a number. So where do we think? We'll just do some some other ones here. Um, where is four pi over three roughly? Bottom left, yeah, 4 pi over 3 is going to be over here because this is one whole pi with an extra third. It's probably going to be somewhere around here. I'm not sure if it's going to be on this side or this side. I think it's probably on this side that we've got here. Where is, um, whose names am I going to try and learn? Zahe, where is 2 pi? It is. It's, it's here. 2 pi is over here. So I've done some extra tips that might help us think about where things might land on these quadrants. So I've said it's worth knowing that roughly pi is 3.14 and 2 pi is 6.28. This means that if I said 6 radians, you know roughly what angle this is and at least you know what quadrant that it would be in. So 6 radians is actually going to be somewhere over here. It's going to be this big angle that's going all the way around like that. Do you think that you can have radians that go bigger than 2 pi? Yeah, so if it goes bigger than 2 pi, it would just loop around again. What about negative radians? Negative radians are going to be down here. So if I said minus pi over 2, where is minus pi over 2? Exactly. Minus pi over 2 will land in the same place as 3 pi over 2. So it's a half turn, but going in that backwards direction. Any questions around where these things have landed so far, or any of these bits? Yeah. Two radians. OK, so this is where it's worth knowing a couple of extra things. Do we know what this angle here is? In Good. This is pi over 2. Anyone know what pi over 2 is, roughly? About 1 and a half. Because if pi is 3, this is actually 1.57-ish. So you can now tell me where two radians would be. Roughly. Roughly. This is where 1.57 radians is. No. 2 pi radians is 6.28 radians. Because pi is 3.14. So when I'm writing 2 pi, I'm actually meaning 2 multiplied by 3.14159, blah, blah, blah. So where would 2 radians be? It would just be in between here, because this is 1.57 and 3.14. So 2 radians is probably going to be over here. But can you write 2 radians in terms of pi? Can you write 2 as a multiple of pi? No. no. You can't write 2 as a multiple of pi, because, because you can't. Right? They're not related to each other. So I think, does that make sense that... These are, these are actually numbers. They just don't look like numbers. They look like algebra, but remind yourself, pi is indeed a number that we've got there. Okay, so it's about how, how we're moving around a circle that we've got. Okay, so we're going to try and do some of these conversions now. And I've said here that the best way to convert of them is to think of fractions related to 180 degrees and to imagine the circle. That's for anything that's like a multiple of pi, you want to imagine that circle. I said you shouldn't need to convert often to degrees or vice versa, and you should not do this to make it easier. If you've got a question that's in radians and you go, oh, well, actually, I'm, I'm a bit more comfortable with degrees. I'm going to translate everything to degrees. No, you're not going to be successful. You're not going to be able to do very well in this subject if you're trying to make it easier because you're going to make it worse for yourself. Um, so I want you to try and start thinking in radians. And I've said here, we always prefer to express radians in their exact form where possible, i.e. in terms of pi. So actually, most of these here are going to be quite easy to do. We may want to use this little helper to help us do some of these conversions. 
So 90 degrees, I think, okay, well, I know what 90 degrees is related to 180. It's half of 180, so it's going to be pi over 2 radians. Okay, that makes sense that it's that, that quarter turn, so it's, it's pi over 2. Now, if you really desperately wanted to, you could say that it's pi over 2 radians. That would be the units that you would use. Or, if you really wanted to, you could do a small c like this to show that it's radians. Personally, I don't use either of them because radians is the standard way that we do angles when you get to high-level maths. All you do need to make sure that you do is if you're doing degrees, put the degree sign in. So from now on, you don't really need to write if it's, if it's radians or not. Okay, what about pi over 3? Anyone think they can tell me what pi over 3 is? 60, because it's a third of that 180, isn't it? 45 degrees? Pi over 4. Pi over 6? 30 degrees, because it's a sixth of that turn. Now, 135 degrees, if we want to change that into it, you might not recognize what that is. So how could I convert that to radians? What were you going to say, Chaz? Pardon? You weren't going to say anything. Okay. It's 3 pi over 4. How did you do that? Just tell me what you typed in your calculator. Um, or you didn't type anything? No. Okay. Mottisim? So if you double it, it's 270 degrees, which is 3 pi over 2. So if you like try it again, then it's 3 pi over 4. Okay, nice. So you were thinking like you knew that 270 was 3 pi over 2. So you halved both of them and you got 3 pi over 4. Yeah, that's a nice way of doing it. I guess probably the way I would think, if I wasn't sure, I could see what fraction of... 180 is 135, because what fraction of that half turn is it? And if you can't do that in your head, just whack it in a calculator and you come up with 3 quarters. So it's 3 quarters of the way around, so it's 3 quarters of pi, or 3 pi over 4, okay? So 3 over 2 pi? 270, 270 because it's 1 and a half of those half turns. It's that bit and a little bit extra. So that's 270 degrees. The 72 degrees, we can use this same method that we've got over here. So we can do our 72 over 180 and see what fraction that is. What is 72 over 180? 2 over 5. So it's 2 pi over 5. And then 5 pi over 6. 150. Yeah, I personally think about that as finding a sixth of 180 and then multiplying it by 5. So that's 150 degrees. So yeah, if you want to, this is obviously our side that's degrees, and this is our side that is radians. If you want to go from degrees to radians, you divide by 180, and you multiply by pi, which is what happened over here. We were going from degrees to change it to radians. We divided by 180 to get 3 quarters, and then we multiplied it by pi. I didn't really put the multiplying by pi just because I just didn't feel like it was necessary. If you're going from radians to degrees, you divide it by pi and you multiply it by 180. Well, that's kind of what you were doing over here. You were multiplying a sixth by 180 and ignoring the pi, dividing it by pi. Yes? This last one here, the 5 pi over 6. So because, it's, because pi is representing like 180 degrees, we're doing 5 sixths of 180. So we're doing 5 sixths of 180. And I guess the maths of what we're thinking here is to do 5, 6, we divide by 6 and multiply by 5. Yeah? So there are some of these that I would like you to try and see if you can do these kind of in your head. So I'm just going to give you a bit of time to see if you can do these ones. If you can do them in your head, that's great. If you can't do them in your head, maybe a sketch or using your calculator. I'm just going to give you a couple of minutes to do that. And we're just going to push on a bit. Because if you divide it by 180 and then you just and then you just whack the pi on it afterwards, don't you? Yeah. Very good.
Okay, probably just 30 seconds more. People are going pretty quick through these. Okay, um, I'm going to pick some people so I can practice using some names. Uh, Rabil, can you tell me what you got for 45 degrees? Uh, pi over 4, good. Um, Ikram, what did you get for 60 degrees? Good, pi over 3. Uh, Zahir, what did you get for 270? 3 pi over 2. And 120, Abdirahman, what did you get for 120? 2 pi over 3. Good. Uh, 30 degrees. Um, who have I not spoken to that's over there? Uh, Rezul. Pi over six. Pi over six. Um, who else? Imran. What about 135? Three pi, Three pi over four. And nice and easy, 90 degrees, everyone? Pi over, pi over two. Okay, so even though I said you're going to eventually think like this, pi over two, 180, all of those, we kind of need to have them like ready to go. So I'm just going to stop this video at this point because we're going to move on to a slide.